In this video I'll show you how to create uh, simple jQuery widgets and if you go to jQueryUI.com you can see on the left here we have these widgets such as accordion, uh, autocomplete, date picker, tabs, tooltip. These are all simple widgets that are really easy to incorporate into your own website. So what I'm going to do is create a new folder in my local host and I'm just going to call it um, JQ widgets. All right, so in that folder, I'm going to create another folder called JS, and this is where we'll store our jQuery. So I'll say new document. jQuery.js and then we also want a jQuery UI file. And let's go back. And we want to download the UI, which we can do from here. Actually, we don't want to do a custom download. We'll just download the latest stable version. And then we also want to download jQuery, which I'm not sure if we can do from here. So we'll just go to jQuery.com. Grab that. And you can get the compressed or uncompressed. It doesn't really matter. All right, so we're going to copy all this, which is the standard jQuery file, and we're going to place that inside of this file. Get that out of there. All right, so we'll save that. And this is the jQuery UI. And what we want is in this UI folder, now you can download separate components if you want. Say you were only going to use the uh, progress bar, then you could just download that. But we want the actual, the full UI file. So let's click on that and copy all of that and paste that into our jQuery UI.js file. And I'm sorry if I sound a little stuffed up, I got a little cold. All right, so those two files are all set. Let me just make sure that's saved. All right. All right, so now I want to create an index HTML file. And we'll open that up. Now if we go back to the UI site, and let's see, let's do the accordion first. So if we click on the accordion widget, click on view source, it actually gives us all the code right here. So we'll copy all of that, paste that in, and up here we want to make sure it's actually pointing to uh, a CDN. You can see that the jQuery uh, .js file is actually already included as well as the UI file. So we actually don't need those local files. Um, but I like to have the local file just in case you're offline or something like that. So I'm actually just going to change this. So the main jQuery file we have is in the... Actually, you know what? we put the the index page in the JS folder we don't want to do that so we're going to paste that here close that out okay so I'm going to repaste I'm going to copy that again and then we're going to say we'll get rid of this We'll say js slash j 
jQuery.js and then for the UI say JS slash um, jQuery UI dot JS and that should do it and it's also pointing to a remote style sheet which you could download if you want but we'll just we'll just keep that how it is save and then if we open the index file we now have these tabs so it's as easy as that and if we look at the code if we look at the markup you can see we just have a div with the ID of accordion and then we have an h3 another div which contains a paragraph and that's it All right so you can change your content however you want you can say uh, I don't know about us say services I don't know who we are, which is basically about us, but just using this as an example. And then maybe testimonial. Alright, so that should update all the titles. Alright, so now we have our titles. And you can stick whatever you want in here. It doesn't have to be just a paragraph, it could be in unordered list, images, uh, anything you want really. <clears throat> and all we had to do here, the only jQuery we have is this function, it's the accordion function that's that's already pre-made with jQuery. Alright, so this code is what makes this happen. Alright, let's take a look at something else. Let's take a look at date picker. So this is just a date picker you can include in your form you click on it, a little calendar pops up um, just really nice UI, nice and clean so we just gotta copy this HTML and you can see basically we're doing the same thing, we're just calling the date picker function and then down here we just have a text field okay so it's a text field not a date field and the ID is date picker all right, and this ID doesn't have to, well, let's just take a look at it first, make sure it's working. All right, so that's working. You can see as you choose a date, it inputs that text. All right, now, let's say this was, isn't, we don't have the ID date picker. Maybe it's generated content or something like that. Uh, so now if we have the, change the ID, and we go back and try that it doesn't work alright so all you need to do here is uh, change this because this is grabbing the ID so if we change that to date just move this over here then that should work alright so there's a bunch of different widgets you can try out I'm not going to do all of them uh, let's try the tabs so now we have a nice tabbed interface and you don't have to use this theme you can use a different jQuery theme or of course build your own uh, use your own back background images and colors things like that so let's just copy this and I'm just gonna leave the the remote um, jQuery files just so you know that you can use local or you can use a CDN you can use Google CDN if you want um, so let's save that so now we have our tabs so it's very easy to implement this video is obviously for beginners um, and then you can see down here how it's formatted we have an ID called tabs then we have an unordered list of links which have tabs one, two, and three. And obviously you can add more. Let's just let's do that. We'll just add another one.
and then we'd have to change this to 4 grab this div Whoop. and change this to 4 and then we'll just say Alright, so let's reload that. Now we have a, uh, another tab with our content. Alright, so pretty easy to do. Like I said, this, this video is basically for beginners on how you can easily implement jQuery widgets.